believe that the same aircraft can release experimental chemical additives in the air as chemical contrails or chemtrails. In this way, government agencies can either manipulate the weather or counteract global warming. But some people claim chemtrails are harming an unsuspecting public. Witnesses and researchers who believe in chemtrails say that jet contrails don't vanish within minutes as they once did. They now linger and spread, sometimes for hours, forming strange, suspicious patterns. Rosalind Peterson is one of those believers. It's not normal for us. It's a grand experiment. Peterson lives in Northern California near San Francisco. At one time, she worked for the State Department of Agriculture. Part of her job involved being aware of environmental issues. I first started noticing unusual contrails in 2002 when it was brought to my attention by a friend of mine. He took me outside of his office and we began to look at these persistent jet contrails. Peterson thought she saw a connection between aircraft activity and reports of chemically contaminated water in communities throughout California. There were unusual high spikes in chemicals and heavy metals. Barium, aluminum, manganese, magnesium, zinc. And I suspect that we're getting the pollution from something in the atmosphere that's being released. Peterson became so alarmed about the chemical contrails that she formed an organization called California Skywatch, a group dedicated to clean air. I started documenting what I was seeing. I took pictures on my breaks. I took pictures at lunch hour. I started to really get angry because our once deep blue skies were no longer deep blue. They would turn into a white haze and they would turn into these man-made clouds uh, blocking the sunlight. Peterson discovered that she wasn't alone in her concerns. Hundreds of websites revealed that persistent airplane contrails had become a worldwide problem.